Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, in today's, you know, video, <laughs> I'm going to be discussing a recent development that came out uh, from the Langchain Library on their blog. I would highly recommend staying up to date with all of the developments because they're flying left and right. I'm like, doo, 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 like the like the Matrix, just trying to dodge all these uh, anxiety-inducing developments that you know keep me on my toes. But uh, that's why I'm here to like give you guys the updates. So in this video, we're going to be talking about contextual compression with document retrieval. And the way you can think about this is in the normal way that we would, you know, have an external vector store, or vector database uh, with, you know, documents preloaded. Maybe it's like documents about your company, about like your personal information. Then you ask a question, we first embed that query and we do a similarity search or hybrid search or whatever type of search you want. Uh, to get the relevant documents from the vector store. And then we would pass that back into the original query and have it as context, and then make the call to your LLM of choice. And so just to make sure you guys get the understanding uh, completely, they do have diagrams in this blog post. I'm gonna leave the blog post as a link in the description because you should definitely read it. Um, but like this is like the normal way that we would do it is we have the user question, we do a similarity search on a vector store, get documents, and then we have you know your prompt, the user question and like, you know, the context and all that good stuff. And then we make the call to the LLM. Now in this new, uh, with, with this new type of, you know, document compression, the way it works is we have this intermediary step right here. So um, I think, I, I believe you guys can see this, but essentially once we make the similarity search and we get the, do the relevant documents, we then compress those documents to get the most relevant information from the relevant documents. Um, and the, again, this is just so we can, you know, shorten the context window uh, for the large language models you're calling and also keep the, uh, the information as like, you know, as sharp as possible, have like a sharper resolution on uh, what you're asking about. So, you know, if you're asking about, you know, the studies of fat loss, which is like the question I'll be ask, asking uh, in this tutorial, um, like the size of like cold therapy with fat loss, maybe it pulls all the relevant documents fat loss and cold therapy, and then it will extract the, the most relevant information to your specific question. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. So I've already pip installed the necessary libraries that you need. So you're gonna need Langchain and uh, PyPDF for this. And, you know, just choose a PDF of choice. Um, we're then going to need to set our environment variable uh, for our open API key because or open AI API key because we're going to be using uh, the open AI's uh, large language model for this. And this is where we get into loading the documents. So this is like the normal way of doing it, um, which I've already done down here, but, I'll, but I'm just going to show you. So, you know, just make, if you're doing this like on your own machine, if you have this notebook, make another folder in the same directory as this notebook call it data, and then put your PDF of choice and then load it in. Uh, so, you know, same old, good old stuff. So we've got the loader, the PI PDF loader. Uh, we're loading the pages. We're using a character text splitter uh, to split all of the pages and into chunks and then getting the text from it. And then we're creating our retriever uh, from, uh, from the documents. So we're getting a vector store and we're making it a retriever. And then we are just saying retreat, like get the relevant documents. So this is what the question would be. So what are the latest findings of cold exposure and its effects on the on fat loss, not the loss, not the fat loss, but that's what I said, and we're gonna stick with it. And as you can see, it's a bit lengthy, like the number of documents that we're getting. But in this version, and I added a prompt template as well because I'm asking it a question after we load the context. So I just wanted to show you the whole work, the whole uh, workflow for this. So we have our contextual compression retriever. So this is this is different than what we did up here with just getting a regular vector store and making it a retriever. In this one, we have two things. We have the contextual compression retriever and the LLM chain extractor. So this is a type of document compressor. There are a bunch of other ones, I think. I think the article discusses several of them. 
Uh, so you have like the embeddings filter um, as well. And you could also use like a document processor or compressor pipeline. I haven't looked into those as much. This is just a first thing I wanted to look at. I thought it was interesting and it was kind of going along with what the documentation was showing. So I'm just gonna go with that for now. Um, so here we have our prompt template. So I'm saying, you know, I want you to act as a research assistant. You will answer the questions about the context. Here's the context, here are the questions. So pretty vanilla prompt. We're passing in the input variables we'll need, which is question and context. We're getting our large language model from OpenAI. And then we are getting our compressor uh, from this LLM. So my under, my belief is what's going on under the hood is like it's actually making another call to kind of extract the most relevant text uh, from the documents and then spitting that out as smaller chunks. So maybe this is another is an extra call. If somebody knows in the comments, drop it. Um, and I'll also you know be looking into that as well after the video. And then we are going to instantiate our compression retriever. So that is coming from the contextual compression retriever with our base compressor being the compressor we have instantiated above and the base retriever being the retriever we have all the way up here, this little, this little sneaky guy. Once we do that, I'm just taking the question out into its own kind of variable just so I can pass it into the parts that I need it. I'm also just gonna say on fat loss, not the fat loss. <laughs> Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, compression retriever, let's get the relevant documents. And then we are going to get those compressed docs and go with like the rest of the workflow, which would be, you know, getting your LLM chain, passing in the prompt, and then calling it with the input variables that it takes. So it would be a question and context. And the context would be the compressed documents. So when I run this, this should actually show us the compress documents, and also it will spit out the answer. And boom, okay, so let's first take a look at the documents. So unlike above, these documents are a bit shorter. So it says like document one is just one of the purported outcomes most, most frequently discusses increased energy expenditure and fat oxidation. Okay, so the documents are shorter, which is good because that means that the context we load up is not going to take up as many tokens, which is good because that means that we could actually probably fit more concise information into the actual call to the LLM. And now you have, you know, this is, I, I set, set it to verbose so you can see the context. So I want you to act as this, blah, blah, blah. Load in the context. I probably could have just said page content and not. Uh, but I guess like we have the source, which if you wanted to return the sources, you could. And then here's the answer. Uh, so latest findings of coal exposure and its effects on fat loss suggest that the coal exposure can increase energy expenditure, fat oxidation, but the degree of, of increase varies from person to person. Studies have also found that individuals who spend a lot of time in the cold environments have, un have upregulated brown adipose tissue activity and that some of their white adipose tissue may start to behave more like brown adipose tissue. Okay, so I'm not gonna read the rest of this, but that is essentially all I wanna show you guys in this video. So yeah, uh, if you liked it, drop a like, drop a comment, hate comments too. Uh, you know, I like both of them. You know, make fun of me. Um, you know, I love that. And uh, yeah, subscribe. And yeah, uh, join the Discord if you want to learn more uh, and like see what I do with this and what else I'm working on. We've got a nice community of people. And yeah, uh, other than that, there's no outro. So uh, goodbye.